Ready? Almost, man. I think I think I'm ready, man. Mm-hmm. But you can't be ready till you go out here, man, and you and you get out in the world, man. And you yeah. go, go looking for that stuff that you yeah. claim that you want to be and yeah. be around those people that you claim you want to be like. Yeah. Like like when we decided to go to these mm-hmm. conferences. Yeah, yeah. We just was like, it's a struggle. Let's just get to it, y'all. Yeah, it's yeah. a struggle. It's a- It's your boy TTMT and King D Money here with the D and D Leveling Up podcast. Hey guys, we know the information that we are giving you guys is leveling up your lives in so many great ways. First things first, though, we need you guys to like, comment, subscribe, and share. That is so essential, guys, and we'll catch you in the podcast. Deuces. Well, it is a struggle. You got to break from your, your yeah. nine to five. Yeah. You got to break from your nine to five mentality yeah. to get out here and go, yeah, I need to be around people yeah. that are thinking different. Exactly. And I'm pretty sure there's a whole lot of oh people thinking different at the conference you just went to. Bro. What's yeah. the conference? So we went to Miami Weeks Emerge Conference. Woo. So... Now, this week and pretty much this whole month is Miami Tech Week, Whoa. right? So Miami Tech Week is where people, individuals who are investors, um, people who are entrepreneurs, you know, people who are brokers. Big to, money now, huh? Big money. Big, Woo. big money. People trying Woo. to put people together. Some people make money just pulling people and putting them together wow. and, and brokering deals. Woo. That's their job. So now it's just connecting. And then, you know, I'll, I'll talk to an investor. I'll talk to an entrepreneur. I'm like, you know what? I, I should I connect you with this person because you know what I got the right person for you. I'm gonna talk to this person for you and get you connected. And we were getting we're in this we got the VIP tickets. Ooh, like, buddy. VIP tickets were going for eighteen hundred dollars, baby. And I was like, I had and it's so funny because I had a friend of mine who was going. He had connections in Emerge and you know with some people who, who orchestrated it. And he was and I was I already had a day off from the day before. Right? Yeah. This is a this is a Friday. Woo, guys, we're talking to y'all. Those and people that think they got that one or two days of PT. Exactly. It's just like you gotta break loose. Exactly. And I was in my mind, I was like, he was texting me. He was like, yeah, man, I need you to go to this conference because you know it, it could be life-changing. But he actually didn't say the conference. He just said, I, I need you to check this out. So I check it out. I'm like, oh, okay, whatever, you know. I, I can't go to this thing. I, I got stuff to do. So, you know, but he didn't leave with the fact that these tickets were like innumerable to find and get for this price. And I was like, bro, why didn't you leave with that? So I go into work, of course, because I'm I'm a great employee and I'm a manager. So I got a little bit of leeway talking to my manager and say, listen, he, because first he was like, bro, I said, what are you going to do? He said, you're going to work a nine to five for the rest of your life. He said, you have an opportunity right now, today, to go ahead and get the Willy Wonka ticket which everybody wants, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You got a golden ticket. And, 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 it, and it was, I remember we went to the big toughness thing, and one of the guys said that you got to break past your fears. You got to break past your norm. Because to be honest with you, my mind was like, no, I'm going to work. It's 9 to 5. I got to go to my job. What you talking about, brother? What you talking about? Brother? What you talking about? You got to come in every time. What you talking about? So I was like, but I had to get out of my, break out of my mindset. Like, yo, bro, this is an opportunity for you to break out and not have it to have a 9 to 5 ever again. Go ahead and start promoting you guys. We got our, our brand new product, the YouTube, the ultimate YouTube marketing guide ebook. I want you guys to click down in the subscription. This is going to give you impactful information. You know, cool. I've gotten so many different um, ebooks from different people, and it's basically it's basic stuff. This goes from basic to intermediate to advanced. You've never done YouTube marketing before. This is the jam. I want you guys to go check it out. It's very, it's for oh, it's, I'm completely giving this away. Bro, I've discounted 70%. Ooh, that's right? big, bro. We got to talk about the pot. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> 70%? 70% off. Limited time only. Listen, I put a whole bunch of work into this. A lot of times when people give you ebooks, they don't really give you that much resources. They give you a certain amount of things, and it's just enough to get you to go ahead and buy another product. But I didn't want to do this with this product. I wanted actual people to actually get something out of it. Value, so, baby. Value. Let's go. And once you look at it and you see the, the aspects, I put 30 lessons in here. So I put a lot of hard work into this. Go ahead and check it out. The link's in the description. Go and get it. Deuces. Deuces. I met so many people who actually helped me level up my mindset when it comes to 
opening about my pitch. Because you know, when you go to one of these, these places with investors, they want to know about, okay, what you do? Okay, how you do it? Okay, um, how much money you need? You need to know these questions. You need to be able to answer. Yeah. How much equity do you have? Who has the equity? How much equity do you want to give me? You know what I'm saying? Hey. You know what I'm saying? You, got, you have to already be prepared. And luckily, I was already pitching this to other individuals. So I was doing pitching all day. All day talking about it. Okay. I was getting tired. I was like, oh, my gosh. I said, what do you do? Why well, do this? Well, what do you do? Why well, do this? And then well, it was good because now after a period of time, I started to shape it. Because it was long at first. It's mm -hmm. almost like when we're working on a script. Yeah. What we you say? It's long at first. It's like, long at first. You'd be like, man. Yeah. You know, I'm, like, I'm like, that's real nice. <laughs> exactly. That's real nice, nice. brother. But, like, but this is not, I'm pretty sure this is not how you sell or, I ain't going to say sell. But this is not how you propose insurance yeah. stuff to people. Exactly. Because if you give them all of that, that fluff at the beginning. Oh, man. All, of, gone. The, all of the giant words. Yeah. They're gone. They're gone. You, I know you know. I yeah. Know. They're like, gone. So, after so you we, refine it. I refine it as I'm talking to people. You, you, man, you left. Yeah. You left without refine, refinement. Yeah. Went somewhere, broke out. Yeah. Had to leave all those people sitting at work. Yeah. Just yeah. like, hey. I gotta go. Like I gotta go. I had to. I go, bro. This, I had to this go. is overcoming one on one. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. There's certain things you just got to. You got to break out of it. And I'm like, I'm like, yeah. there you go. I hope there go. <laughs> he calls me at school, and I'm like, oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm like, I'm already at work. I, I could have yeah. left. Yeah. Eleven. Yeah. Uh, but yeah. Being a public servant, you know. Yeah. I got. You uh, got responsibilities. Watch, I, got, I got big. big yeah, you got big got responsibilities. A lot more people to watch. Yeah. You know, I'm not watching adults. <laughs> I, I know, but they're big kids too. But you breaking out. Mm. You, you break through, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? Oh, man, I might get in trouble. Yeah. Or I might, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Some, somebody going to say something. Yeah, exactly. Things already going weird at work. Exactly, already. And you're saying, look, yeah. I got to break out and go be with people that are on the level I want to be. Yeah, like, exactly. I want to be. be. I want to be. This. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. So when you got when you decide you want to be, y'all, yeah. you got you to gotta break out. And it's always yeah. fearful. It's Ooh. always it's always something where you have to be much more courageous in that moment. Because I was like, I was thanking the guy. I was like, man, I'm glad you pushed me. Because I, when I got there and I started seeing all the individuals on the, the levels that they're at and their level of thinking, I was like, bro, I, why wasn't I not? What was, what was holding me back is the mentality that I had going in. Like, no, nine to five, this, this, you know what I'm saying? Get this, yep. get, you know what I'm saying? And now you're always, you're always asking yourself and other people to help you to break through those things but when it actually comes down to the time to say you know what i'm saying i gotta go do it i gotta go do it i was like man i got to like, do this I, I gotta, I'm gonna go back to yeah. exactly exactly, <laughs> exactly. And bro i was so tired I was, I was i was like bro i gotta go i gotta go home I'm tired he's like no you gotta i gotta introduce you to this person and this person and this person and this person, and this person. i'm like bro but like he's like man go to the after party because i'm like thinking because, you know, the traffic there is crazy. So he's yeah. like, he said, man, by the time you finish doing all that, you should, you get to talk to all these people. By the time you get out of that traffic, you, know you, could, have, you could have met like four or five people, life-changing people. Exactly. At least 10 people, man. Or just have that view of people doing yeah, or being at the level you're trying to get to. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? It's, it, you got to change the environment. Man. Yeah, you got to change I'm the environment. I'm a big, big proponent of changing the environment. People be like, oh, man, you sure you want to buy this? Are you sure you yeah. want to buy yeah, that? Yeah, and I'm yeah. like, I can't live. Live in that. I can't be yeah. down here exactly. and then ask. For this. And ask for this. Exactly. Then ask to be up here. Exactly. And then try to stay here with this mom. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm like, I have to fix some things. Yeah. Some things are worth it mm -hmm. so that you can be, when you get there, you're there. Yeah. Like you don't just like teleport to your new you. Yeah, you don't. It doesn't work. It doesn't like work that, that way. It you, doesn't. And people have to get over that. Yeah. You gotta, you know, I re, uh, you have to be the change that you want to see. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Be. You gotta be the change. Be. Do. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Because to be honest with you, you we always think it's all these outside things that we gotta, we gotta try to get and someone's magically. <laughs> Imagine, Imagine going, it's just sprinkle, give you stuff. Sprinkle a million dollar yeah. dust on you. <laughs> Here you go. Here you go. I'm a millionaire. Boom. Boom. Yes. It doesn't work that way. Oh, hey, come on, come on. Even yeah. in the lotto, yeah. you got to decide whether you're going to take the lump sum or exactly. the small sum. Exactly. Then when you get the lump sum, you don't get as much as you thought you was going to Exactly, because the taxes. There you go. You know and then saying? if you're the type of person, you're going to go ahead and you're going to do like every other lotto winner. Yeah. Almost 80, 90% of lotto yeah. winners. Yeah. You're going to yeah. spend it yeah. all. Yeah. And be right back nine to five next year. Yeah, exactly. 
For no reason. Yeah. You know what's so funny? <laughs> <laughs> I was talking you to that. You can't do that. I was talking to one of the guys that's there who was his wife actually put the whole Emerge conference together. Whoa. Uh, shout out to Tommy. And um, basically, he was telling me that that a lot of these people come here to these events. They don't talk to anybody. Like, literally, they're scared to speak to people, and these people could change your life. I got to speak on that. You know what I'm saying? People, these people could change your life. Go ahead. No, no, I, I mean, like, mm. when, when I go to conferences, when I'm going places, I'm like, man, mm. I just really hope the presenter gives me everything I need in life. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. People, I'm speaking about that probably 80, 90% of the people uh-huh. who bought a lower ticket. Yeah, exactly. Like we're going to have that conversation yeah, on exactly. why you buy mm-hmm. the higher, higher ticket. ticket. And for what reason? And for what reason do you buy this higher ticket? Yeah. You cannot expect the whole thing to change for you mm-hmm. in just sitting there yeah. and watching the presentation. Yeah, exactly. You got to participate. Yeah. The part that's participation, trust mm-hmm. me, I'm a teacher. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it, takes, <laughs> yeah. it takes the participation yeah. to get the mind mm-hmm. of the learner yeah. to move and to get innovative. Mm. And it's not just the fear of, of being in this spot mm-hmm. so much longer. Yeah. Sometimes you have the fear of talking to other people yeah. who might be able to help you or yeah. just telling people about your idea. Yeah. And I, you got people that have fear that somebody's going to take their idea. True. You got people who have fear that. that they just sitting next to yeah, somebody. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? They have people that, that like have fear that they'll never make that money back that they paid for that high true. ticket. Yeah, that's but true. But then yeah. they'll throw it into every other bill. Yeah, yeah. I, <laughs> I yeah. told myself one day, I say, either I'm going to spend it on this mm-hmm. or I'm going to spend it on something that's going to just sit around. Exactly. I'm going to have it. You're going to have it, yeah. You're going to have it. You're going to yeah. love getting it. You're going to make yeah. that Amazon purchase. Yeah, exactly. And you're going to be like, I love this thing, man. <laughs> yeah. And three days later, uh, it'll be sitting, sitting somewhere. Collecting dust. Because you're going to go back on Amazon and buy something else yeah. to feel that emotional like divot in your spirit exactly. because you're missing something. Yeah. You're not being creative. Not being creative. You <laughs> can't be creative without having other people around you, man. Yeah. You got to... You gotta, be able to connect. Yeah. And that's what buying that higher ticket does. It does. This it's, is this is exactly what, what Dirk is talking about. Like mm-hmm. he got around mm-hmm. the movers and shakers. Yeah. And if you want to be something else, you gotta do something else. Exactly. To have something else. Bro, you know, you, you hit it on the head when you were talking about the fact of the whole fear thing and also the fact Ooh. of just just going, not being afraid to lose. Like, I had to get over, like, yeah. somebody trying to steal my idea. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? The whole idea, like, because I was like, man, take her. But you know what the thing is? You have enough energy for your idea. Some people have their own ideas. Yeah. They don't have enough energy for your idea and their idea <laughs> at the same time. So, like, if I tell you, I, I used to be like, oh, man, I want to tell you your idea so it's steal from me. No, you know what? There's Coca-Cola and there's Pepsi. Yep. There it so, is. So you still got KFC, exactly. Popeyes, exactly. churches. You can't tell me exactly. that your idea is so unique. Unique. Exactly. That somebody's gonna take it and run off with it. Yeah. Okay. We got, come on, guy. Yeah. You know, as 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 the commissioner of the Big Back Academy, <laughs> <laughs> there's Popeyes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You don't just have Popeyes on the corner. True. You got churches. Mm-hmm. Now, let's just go to fast food. You got the king, basically Burger, almost Burger the king. king right now. Yeah. You got Burger King, you got McDonald's. McDonald's. Mm-hmm. You got McDonald's, who's who you think is all about food, and yeah. it ain't about, it ain't about real so estate. much about food. They're getting yeah. the spots, man. The spots. It's Walgreens, real estate. Walgreens. Mm-hmm. Walgreens CBS. was just getting corner mm-hmm. lots everywhere, man. Yeah. It's so you got, dub, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got, you got the front end and the side yeah. uh, for, for having real... Um, What's it called? Real estate. Real estate. Yeah, exactly. For having real estate. You have the front and the side for the real estate part, mm-hmm. and they are making money off having the land. Yeah, it's the land, it's, man. It's a double play. They're going yeah. to put it somewhere where the yeah. available amount of money mm-hmm. from people to be spent, just yeah. like frivolous money, mm-hmm. put it right there in the middle of the community. Exactly. And then be like, okay, well, mm-hmm. we got the land. Exactly. And we're going to have people... Who yeah. have money to spend. Exactly. Come spend with us. Exactly. That's what people don't That's understand. The That's the play. Because people don't even understand that McDonald's is a real estate company. They are a real estate company. Big we time. think we're, they, they happen to sell burgers, but they own the land that's there. 
They they sell the, they have the franchisees who don't actually own the land. They have to rent that space from them. They have to pay out a franchise fee. They got to go to the McDonald's University and pay them money. They basically just renting the land. That's all it is. It's a land company. It's a land. It's a land play. So mm-hmm. getting back to where we were where we were coming from. Yeah. The ideas mm-hmm. aren't running out. Yeah. Exactly. I'm, I'm here to tell somebody. Mm-hmm. That your idea isn't the only idea like yeah, that exactly. out right now. Yeah, exactly. But you're unique in your own idea how you created it. Right. Yeah. Now, the only thing that's going to make it different mm-hmm. is your execution Correct. of this idea. Yeah. There are there were probably a couple thousand people that thought about your idea before mm-hmm. you did. Yeah. It just didn't execute. Exactly. Or it didn't execute to the point where you think it might go. Or they gave up. Because they thought somebody else had that idea. Or they just said, forget it. A million people got the idea. Exactly. But it doesn't matter how many people have the idea. Mm. It's that person that's going to take it Mm. all the way to the goal. Exactly. Uh, Are you going to take it all the way to the goal? Oh, bro, you know, so funny you should say this. Did you ever watch the movie Pray? Pray? Pray with with Predator, with the Indian, the Indian tribe, where they were back in the 1700s. So I'll give an example. I I want to take it back home to this. Well, in the situation where this girl, nobody, they were asking this girl, why, why do you want to hunt, right? You want to hunt something that hunts you. Why do you want to do it? It's like a rite of passage. Like everybody has to go through it. And her brother was like the, the top guy, right? He said, he said to her, he's like, you got to learn how to bring it home. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You don't know how to bring it home. So you got to learn how to take something and bring it home. And then the reason why she said that she wanted to do it is because nobody thinks she could do it. That's why I want to do it. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You got to get that in your mindset. Nobody thinks I can do this. So I'm going to do it. So I got to bring it home. You know what I'm saying? You got to bring whatever idea, you got to bring that home. You got to bring it to the point of fruition. Bringing it home was their 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 whole pop, the whole rite of passage is you got to go you got to go find something, hunt something that's hunting you, kill it and bring it home. There it is. You man. know what I'm saying? That's that's part of this Going out to these conferences yeah. and talking to people, you gotta bring something back home. Yeah, exactly. Like like when people say you gotta bring who brings home the bacon? <laughs> exactly. You get what I'm saying? People yeah. say that, like that's bringing home the bacon. Talking yeah. to people, yeah, creating um connects with other people and other companies, yeah, making things happen, making connections with mm-hmm. other people, yeah. So you can create relationships and mm-hmm. those relationships drag you through. A lot of things that that one passage you think you just can't make it through by yourself. Yeah, you have somebody else in your corner yeah. because you set that up. Yeah, you spent the time. You went to the conferences. Mm-hmm. You bought the you bought the second second to or, or the top tier ticket mm-hmm. because those people are going to talk. Yeah, they're going to give you information. They're going to give you the plays. Yeah, that you know what I'm saying. Some people aren't, mm-hmm. and that's cool. Yeah. They're out there for themselves, exactly. but you can tell either they're going to be strong enough to go it by themselves, mm-hmm. which is not a whole lot of people, exactly, or they're being quiet for some other reason. They, maybe they, maybe they just really here not for that. Hey, you know, what's so, <laughs> you know, what's so funny. We gotta talk. We gotta have like a segment on um mm-hmm. on, on comp- different conference people. Yeah, we got the do. people that go to there's the certain conferences. Type of people. There's certain <laughs> type of people, bro. There's certain <laughs> type of people. I mean, hey, this is so funny. There's people who just want to know what you know. And they ain't going to tell you no information. Profile number one. You know what I'm saying? Just a person <laughs> who's an observer. Like, I had this guy, this African dude, man. He was cool. Shout out to African people. Africa. You know? <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Africa. Anyways. Oh, the continent. Oh, you know, so, so he had a different perspective, right? So yeah. I was trying to talk to him about my app. He was Actually, he was telling me about it. He's like, well, what makes you think that's the only app on the world in the, in the world? I was like, well, I'm sure there's other iterations of certain things, but I haven't seen it. You know what I'm saying? But that, it's regardless. If Even if there were, like yeah. we just talked about, I'm still going to do what I'm going to do regardless. And so he was he was not very forthcoming with what he did. Right. You know what I'm saying? Where I had to pull teeth to get it out of him. I'm like, bro, what did you just tell me? What you do? He's negotiating the conversation, you know huh? He's trying to negotiate. Oh, He's trying to hold people, all the man. cards, man. That's I, always those people, bro. You know what I'm saying? Then you got those people that run up to you. Yeah, exactly. Hey, man. Exactly. Hey, man, what, bro. what are you doing, bro? <laughs> exactly. Hey, hey, hey man. Bro. I'm doing this, man. Hey, what you do, guy? All right, exactly, man, cool. bro. All right, man. What you doing? What, hey, hey, man, I got these. Uh, uh, exactly. I, I got this. Uh, <laughs> exactly. Uh, I got this. Uh, yeah. Hey, exactly. Yeah, man. Hey, man, what's, what's our shoes? Bro. Hey, is that an armor? 
It had to be <laughs> all day, all day long when it's a conversation. I was trying to get guy. out of there. That's profile that guy, number two. That guy hit me at the last minute. He never hits you when you when you like sitting there for like the you've been there for a while. When you're trying to leave, that guy comes up. Hey man, what's going on, bro? He's like, hey, I'm telling you for truth, bro. This guy came. He said, I got a barber. Barber thing, man. I got this going on, and I'm doing what you do, bro. And I was like, bro, I'm trying to go home. Like literally, I'm just getting. I was trying to leave, you know. But you know, you gonna get that type of person. You gonna get that type of person. Yeah. Then you got the presenter. Yeah. The presenter that has all the money. Yeah. And all the yeah, opportunities, yeah. and they try and keep him in in that yeah. one section. Section. They kind of cocoon him. He's a platinum ticket person. Yeah, yeah. And and the only person that I probably. Got well, only person I haven't had that experience like that wasn't that that profile, profile number three. Yeah. But they're just trying <laughs> not to talk to you, but they, yeah. they're there to present. Yeah. Was um David Shans. Oh really? We can we, yeah, I got yeah, to, yeah, I got yeah, to actually yeah. take a picture, yeah, talk with him, ask him a question, try to ask him a question. Yeah. Because by the time I got to him, I was like, oh, no, oh, no. <laughs> I had no practice. Yeah. You didn't get your I, sat pitch there, down. I sat there, yeah. and, I sat there at the conference. Yeah. I'm the profile. Yeah. I was the profile where I sat there at the conference just to be in the conference. It was like GA. being in church. Yeah, exactly. I call, it, uh, I call it the church profile. Yeah. Where you just sit there, you ask no questions. General admission. You trust all you trust all information. Exactly. And you, you pay question. and you pay nothing. You pay almost nothing to be there. Exactly. You get what I'm saying? You that's the church profile. That's, that's like you get what you put in. You get what you put in. Yeah. And you know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 hard being that person and then knowing that the only way you're gonna make it out of your rut. Mm. It's with somebody. It's with somebody else. Yes, exactly. Because now you depend on somebody else to do something that you can't do for yourself, and you you got to recognize that you can't. You're not going to be able to do everything by yourself. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I was talking to one of these. Uh, it's so weird because I was talking to this couple, a great couple from Romania. So I was talking to her to to the guy's wife while he was talking to my my business with the, the guy who invited me, right? So I was talking to her. She was just giving me her story about how she started. She was an oral surgeon doing, like, you know, 14-hour work days. Ooh. And she was, like, get tired, exhausted. She said, I make great money, but then I was not being creative. I, I didn't like the job after a period of time. I just did it because my parents asked me to do it. Then now, you know what I'm saying, I'm doing it. I'm in the midst of it. But I'm, like, I'm tired, exhausted. I have no energy to do anything else. Ooh. And her husband, meanwhile, is an investor. He's rolling around the world. <laughs> He's doing all kinds <laughs> of stuff. And she's seeing his life. She's like, wow, I want to be like that. So he's like, well, I'll, I'll support you, but you got to find your own path. And then whenever you find that path, I'll help you with whatever that path is. Right. So then she started finding some other thing that she wanted to do. She started writing a book. She used ChatGBT to do it, to help her research how to create her application. Then she started working on it little by little, of course. Her husband started supporting her. They start, now they started, she, she stopped doing the oral surgeon job. And then she started working with him. And then I was talking about, and it's so weird because when I was talking to her, the first time I was talking to him about the application, the DJ had the music so loud he couldn't hear me. Oh. So I was kind of like, I just kind of like gave up on it because he was he was talking to my to my uh, friend, right? Right, and I was like, yeah, whatever, you know. He said, he said, well, we'll talk about it again. I was like, yeah, whatever. So because because I was speaking to his wife, she became my advocate. She was like, no, I want you to tell him, tell him your idea. Because I was like, yeah, I ain't worry about it. No, she's like, nope. Nope. You listen to me. This is my story. I want you to tell him about your story. Profile number you know what I'm four or five. The person that connects everybody. Yeah. <laughs> the connector. Like, hey, hey, hey. hey. Yeah. Have, you, have you been over here? Yeah, You've exactly. been downstairs? You, yeah. been, you tried out the lunch? You tried out this? Exactly. They connect you with, with good things. Yeah. And sometimes you run across those people at these conferences, man. And those those are some gems, man. Yeah, they those are. are. Those are the real gems yeah. of, of the conference. Mm -hmm. They go, hey, hey, come on. Yeah. Come on. Let's tell go. Me, tell, let's yeah. go. Let's exactly. do it. Stop, stop being like that. Exactly. <laughs> stop, stop being scared. Come on, come on let's, let's go. go. Let's go. Let's get let's it go. done. Let's go. It was like the coach profile. Exactly. Right like, come on. And it's beautiful because the funny thing is, and sometimes you just see somebody in one of these places and you just connect immediately. Yeah. And then you'd be like, hey, what you do, man? Hey, man, I like you. I like, you know, I like your style. What you what you wearing, man? I like what you, you know what I'm saying? And then you start connecting on the business tip and then you start recognizing how amazing some other people are. Man. And you're like, God, I mean, without, without comparing yourself to them, but the fact of like, you're like, it's possible for you to do that? They're like, yeah, and I did it in steps like this, this, and this. And you're like, wow, okay, that means I could do it. You're a human being just like I am. 
You know what I'm saying? It ain't no, you, you, got, you got blood running through you? Okay, so I can do this too. <laughs> Man, I'm, I've yeah. always admired those people who grew up making connections. Yeah. Like, like, they're, like I don't know whether your parents put you mm-hmm. up to moving around and asking people to be here, or you saw your parents making connections, or, mm-hmm. or just having, I think some people just have parties too. Yeah. Create that moment where you can make connections with people yeah. and get things done. Mm-hmm. And... I just I I didn't grow up in that. Yeah. Like my my people went to work <laughs> solo yeah. dolo. Yeah. 30 years in. They yeah. had friends at the job. Yeah. But it wasn't like uh, uh hey, y'all come together, we're gonna get creative, we're gonna do something, we're yeah. gonna party, blah, 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 blah. It wasn't none of that. Where yeah. you could have like the conversation mm-hmm. and when you grow up in that, you don't get to see mm-hmm. that happen much often. Yeah. So when you see people. Yeah. Just being social butterflies. Yeah, yeah. They and they know how to work the room. They know yeah. who's this and yeah, who's that. Man. They know the profiles of the room, so they yeah. know where to put people. I always admired that. Bro. Yeah. I, my boss is like one of those. He, yeah. he does that. He does it very well. Shout out to Sal. He's exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> Sal is taking me everywhere. He's like, bro, I want to introduce you to this person. Okay, tell you, tell me pitch. Then I, of course, because I'm a salesperson, I'm just gonna go right. Yeah. So, but like I told you, I refined it after a period of time. But what if I never been in that situation? What if I never allowed him to to, to break me out of the mindset? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. To go like, because you have to recognize those individuals when we talk about the whole victim toughness thing. Where he and when we went to RiseCon, is that he was like, you have to be. You know, we always think it's like a ploy. Like, why do we need to? You know, we're going to general mission. Why do we need to be in the VIP say, I ain't pay all this money for all that. You always think it's somebody's <laughs> after you, yo. Exactly. Like that's 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 one thing. That's if I could if I could interject, bro. That's yeah. one more thing. Mm-hmm. You gotta stop thinking everybody's after you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if they are, mm-hmm. and I mean, they're not after you specifically. <laughs> okay. Yeah. This product is for sale to <laughs> everyone. Exactly. Not just you. Not just you. So they're not trying to just get over on you. Yeah. But you know what I'm saying? They mm-hmm. wanna. They they, they gotta go get that bag. They gotta you gotta if you want something, you gotta yeah. sell something. You gotta sell something. Yeah, you, you gotta, gotta sell, sell yourself. yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you gotta sell yourself. You gotta sell yourself. Yeah. Your ideas, mm-hmm. your ambition, your your fortitude, mm-hmm. your your steady, steady moving self. Yeah. You're either doing that or you're just not doing anything. Exactly. You're gonna go work for somebody else who's got a vision and a plan. Mm-hmm. And they didn't just come up with this vision and then just sit on the vision. Yeah. They said, okay, I need a plan. Mm-hmm. Then they started the plan. It was like, I need people. Yeah. If you if you want to go fast, go by yourself. So, if you want to go far, get a team. Get a team. All right? You need a team. You need a team. Need I don't team. care what type of little bitty role they play. Mm-hmm. You need a team. Yeah. Like, you're going to start your business. Mm-hmm. You're going to need a virtual assistant. Yeah. You might need a virtual assistant at some point. You're just yeah. going to be too busy. Exactly. Like, I, I need you to go do this. Exactly. I need you to make these calls. Exactly. Okay, yeah. cool. That's another person on the team. Exactly. You got to You got to pay for that up front exactly. now. This isn't something for somebody to start off doing. Okay? Yeah. yeah. Don't go buy yourself a million. <laughs> <laughs> you go run out of... That's the other part of the yeah. pie. Yeah. You got you, your team, mm. and money. Yeah. <laughs> that's, the, yeah. that's the way I see it. Yeah. You, your team, and what pushes everything. Exactly. Like, if you can't move this yeah. to get this, to get to pay them, yeah. then you don't move. Exactly. All right? Exactly. You're not if you don't yet. move... They don't know what to do. Yeah. You don't get the money. Exactly. <laughs> yeah. It's 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 all interconnected. Yeah. And I I'm I was coming to that mm-hmm. at the conference we went to Rise in Tampa, Con. man. RiseCon. RiseCon. RiseCon with with Vic Tipness. Yeah. Man, I'm telling you guys, this thing decked out. Yeah. Everybody's mm-hmm. professional looking. Yeah. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? I mean, professional, professional. Professional. Nah, it, right. it, was it was clean. Really you were clean. clean. It made me think about leveling up even, even just my dress. You know what I'm saying? I was, was like, like, there was, was nobody like, in this, there's nobody in that second section yeah. or the third section that looked yeah. like they, they just, just of decided to come. Yeah. For the, for yeah. the, for they the were fun serious of it. about it. Very serious. Yeah. And then those people, mm-hmm. even those people in those sections mm-hmm. didn't show up late back to the to the um yeah. to the presentation. Yeah. They showed up on time and mm-hmm. it was just like like that whole section was full for a yeah. reason. Yeah, exactly. Because these are people about their business, man. Yeah, exactly. Not even just personally. Like, yeah. you know you're going to be mm-hmm. somewhere mm-hmm. where your life could change mm-hmm. or you could come up on two, three, four, five, six more clients. Mm-hmm. You show up on time. Yeah, you show up on time because it, it you know, the thing about it was, it was interesting. Remember they were trying to pull us back 
into the into the uh, yep. into the auditorium. He's like, yeah, this person's gonna talk. We need everybody to get here on time. Get inside. Get back in there. Get back in there. Not only does that, not only does that get give the presenter a good chance to present well. Yeah. Because if the door is open mm-hmm. and there's 40, 50 people outside exactly. connecting, connecting and talking exactly so loud that it that ruins affects the, what's going you know, on, the affects the ambience of the presentation. Mm-hmm. And I, like I told you, that that profile of the church. Yeah. The church <laughs> yeah. person who doesn't do well yeah. with distractions happening, with yeah, the doors exactly. opening. Exactly. And, you know, I personally thought there was like, there's only one way to really fix that. Mm-hmm. And that's to put a room inside of a room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Like, uh-uh. Yeah. You can't go, uh, you exactly. need a whole vestibule. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> you, can't, you can't do it right there. You need exactly. like a whole little section where yeah. it's holding like, okay, mm-hmm. you got to wait. You're going to wait 10. You got to wait five minutes. Yeah. All right. Mm-hmm. All the doors open. Let people in. Yeah. Close the door. Close the door. Exactly. Yeah. Like they did yeah. in, uh, in the summit. But, they did it well yeah. The summit. But if yeah. you don't, you don't get there. Mm-hmm. You don't get there on time. Yeah. You're not taking this serious. Yeah. That's the reason. Mm-hmm. That's the reason you fear not making money back. Yeah. Because you know, you yeah. probably won't put in the work. Yeah. To get it done. Yeah. That's the only reason you don't take your money and go make it. Exactly. And you know the thing is, that's why you're not in the room with the right people. Because you know the thing is, they have people who are who, who go to some of these conferences. They save for the whole year starting for these conferences because it's not so much about about the actual conference itself. Sometimes it's being in the room with the right person to cause you to think differently. Because now, because you are you only think you we, we always think in our mindset like, oh, we just do this. You're only around the people in general admission who are on the same level that you are at. If you want to get to the higher level, you got to get to a higher thinking. What's the difference between you and that other individual? There's not much more different. One of the presenters was like, I'm not any more different than you are. It's the fact that I just make it, make an effort in order to be a certain type of individual based on the mindset. I had to get around a coach. I had to get around somebody else who thought differently the way I thought so I could get me out of this nine to five hamster wheel and thinking like, oh, I got to depend on this job forever. Or I got to stop being fearful. Like I got to get, I got to stop worrying about money and start getting around individuals who have money. And they think differently than I think. I talked to one of these guys. I was down there. He's like, I'm trying to take my my six-figure business to seven figures. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I'm thinking to myself, six figures? I'm trying to get to the point of six figures. A seven figure. We want to get to six figures. You know what I'm saying? You hear what I'm saying? Seconds later. I should have turned from this. Exactly. <laughs> I should have been. Like, the I, fourth you time watching too long. it. You stayed I, too I long. Stayed, you stayed this too is, long. That, you stayed too long. That, that be, that's going to be, if we have, if this ever airs, that's, <laughs> that's what this is going to be called. <laughs> this is, after, this this is, is what this is going to be called. Stay too long. You stay too long. When you stay too long on that. Yeah. And you didn't move from it. Yeah. You stayed too longer than you should have. You know the Bible tells you that. I'll put no wicked thing before my eyes, right? Mm-hmm. And, and interesting enough is that there's wicked things that are coming across all the time, but you just happen to stay too long seeing it. You're like, uh, you get a bit hypnotized. You got to be like, no, hey, let me get out of this quickly. You, you, you invested too much into it. Exactly. That, let's, let's switch it to that. Mm-hmm. Let's just switch it to that. Let's not call, mm-hmm. okay, oh, she's beautiful. Blah, blah. No. You now, yeah. once you take the second look or the second thought, mm-hmm. you have now invested. Yeah. True. In that. Yeah. Now you're like, so something else has to give. Yeah. So if you invest from something, if you got a hold something here, mm-hmm. there's a piece of something yeah. being taken out of that taken out of every it. time you invest exactly. in something else. It's a important like, party. And I feel like as dudes, mm-hmm. like there's another. There's another level of value mm-hmm. that you have to have for yourself. Yeah, like dudes that are yourself, all yeah. out there mm-hmm. trying to catch, trying to catch every piece of tail that they can. Yeah, it also says how much you value yourself. yourself exactly, because if you could throw yourself, because you're, like, you're giving of yourself it, everywhere. Exactly, exactly. So you're all over the place. You're all over the place, and that shows how much you love yourself. Because you got to think if I'm valuable, right? This is the same thing you think about on the. If other. I'm valuable, you know what I'm saying. If I'm valuable, we can't stay too long. We can't stay too long because you don't deserve. <laughs> I don't deserve to split myself all apart because if I'm spreading myself too thin to everybody, 
then what am I worth? Gets, everybody that comes across my radar gets a chance. Exactly. Exactly. That means I'm not exclusive to nobody. That means I'm a, you know, that's the thing. You got to recognize in yourself, like, listen, I'm not exclusive to you. Everybody don't have to have access to you. Everybody don't have to have access to me. That's a big lesson for, that's a big lesson for the married guys here. Yeah. Everybody don't have to have access to you. Yeah. And that's what makes you valuable. Yeah. In your spirit, in your circle. Mm. Everybody doesn't have to have access to you. Yeah. You don't have to give out your access to yourself. I'm going to tell you who who really inspired me to think like that, though. Mm. And I just thought he was just all over the place. <laughs> it was my boy Levi, man. Levi knows, Shout man. out to Levi. Shout out to Levi. Shout out to Levi, Levi. knows experience, man. Yeah. Great dude. Mm. Ladies, man. I'm just thinking he all over the place. All out here. Yeah. Like, man, that over there? No. <laughs> like, her? She don't deserve to, to, to <laughs> wipe my shoe. <laughs> Oh my God. Yeah, the type of stuff that comes out of this oh man's mouth. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And you're like, okay, he's <laughs> God, noble. Terrible. He's noble in, yeah. in that. Yeah. There's a nobility there's in nobility that. There's nobility in that. Yeah. There's a there's a value in that. There's yeah. a value of self yeah. in that. Yeah. Like, mm-hmm. I wouldn't let you pull my coffee. <laughs> wow. Let alone yeah. deal with you. Put my 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 coffee coolers well, on she that. She ain't she. <laughs> She ain't worth it. She ain't worth it. She ain't worth it. That's discernment. And too. It, you know what I'm saying? That is. Yeah. Because you gotta go, man, I don't have to spread myself all over the place. Yeah. I can be, mm-hmm. I can be exclusive. Yeah. And it's more value in being yeah. in being exclusive. Having something nobody else has. Yeah. Uh, you know, everybody can't say that they had the experience of me. Mm-hmm. So I'm um, my value is up. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, yeah. Just, just because you came down to see me. Yeah. You think you, you got, you got dibs on me? Exactly. No. Nah. Nah. Exactly. And that's not. Nah. That's the thing you. And I think what happens is you're only going to accept or attract what you perceive in yourself. That it, almost like the things that you already are. So yeah. like, if you if you know that you're trying to get to a certain level. You got to find somebody who's on another level who makes you feel like, listen, I got to step up my game when I'm with this person. There it is. And, and because that person is like or similar to the standard that I see for myself. Because if I'm looking at people who just just can, who, who just run me any type of way, what does that say about what am I choosing? Am I choosing mm. to be, choosing to let myself be treated like trash? No, I'm not trash. So I can't be with you because guess what? That's not the standard for me. My standard is person who is at a high standard, expects a high standard from me, and with grace, where they ain't trying to, like, criticize you, you know what I'm saying? But at the same time, recognize, yeah, there's a standard here. The standard here is this. And then if I have a standard, they have a standard, and we both keep it, then it's even. You know what I'm saying? There it is. Because a lot of times, I was talking to a friend of mine, he remember he, when he first came into his relationship with his, his spouse, his, his self-esteem was here. His self-esteem was here. Then he gets to the point where he got his self-esteem past her and he found his own purpose. She has no purpose. She's purposeless, tries to make him feel bad because she still feels he's down here. Because his because of his relationship with his mother, he was he was so so looking to her, like, oh my gosh, you're the, the greatest. And she was always putting him down or keeping him in a certain level, like, mm-hmm. oh, yeah, you're good. Stay right here. She tries to do that here, and it, it doesn't work because she's not up here with him. His self-esteem's too high. Now, at this point, now she's she's trying to get to the point to, to see him here, but he's not there anymore. He's past that. You know what I'm saying? His, mm-hmm. his self-esteem has grown to the point where I don't deserve to be treated like that. My mother treated me like this. You treat me just a, a little bit better than my mother did. That's why I went with you. Now, I'm to the point where I don't need to be treated that way anymore because now my, I, I know who I am. So yes, now yeah. she's like, there's issues like, well, well, now it's like trying to get get him to, to feel the same exact way or be in that station, like, that person's gone. That person's dead. Like we all, we all, you know what I'm saying? I don't think we, we, we when we get into relationships, mm-hmm. most people don't plan to grow. Yeah. Or they don't expect like other people to grow. You don't plan for the other person to grow. Yeah. To change. That's true. Bro. And some people, we get into these vows. Mm-hmm. We get into these relationships mm. where we think we sold down for somebody. Yeah. But as soon as they have to better themselves mm. or find a better way to mm. not be better than you, yeah. but just be better, better than who they were. Yeah. 
And then you go, hold on, you're yeah. not that same old person. Anymore. Yeah, like, yeah. Yeah, I'm not. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I'm not. I decided that I wanted to do this and I want to do this. I'm going to grow mm-hmm. whether we in a relationship or, or not. not. Exactly. You have to yeah. accept that your girl or your guy is going to grow yeah. in the relationship. It's the person you marry mm-hmm. or the person you decide to date today mm-hmm. is not going to be the person you decide to uh, decide the person that you're still with exactly. 40, 50 years from now. Their name might be the same. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. But their bodies, everything about them is going to change. Yeah. You lose, I don't know how many um, skin cells a day. Yeah. And <laughs> that change that changes taste buds brain every three too. days. They yeah. change your brain cells, mm-hmm. re- regenerate after a certain amount, certain amount of time. Mm-hmm. Everything about you is going to change. Mm-hmm. We get stuck in this thing that, oh, we think people are never going to grow or evolve mm-hmm. or want something different. Mm-hmm. And when you, when, when some people make vows, they go, they're gonna be that way forever. That I saw them forever. forever. Instead, Instead of going, mm-hmm. I'm gonna love them yeah. through through whatever changes whatever they're changes they're going through. Yeah, exactly. Because I love that person. person. Exactly. Instead of creating this perception and not keeping your, you know, I realized what that is. Not keeping your, your hand on the pulse. Because yeah. when people make changes, they make adjustments. If you're with them when they make the adjustments or supporting them when they make the adjustments, you'll be there. But if you're in your own world and expecting them to be always going straight and you're going here and you're thinking, oh, they're coming with me, but they're not. Because listen, I'm on this path. Mm. You know what I'm saying? But if you're like, if you're close in, you're like, oh, we're going, you're going this crowd. Okay, I'm gonna go with you because we're going together. But if you're not, if you don't have your hand on the post, you're not taking time and effort out to know who they are and to keep on discovering that this is an evolving person. They're not going to be the person who you think they are. They're going to be the person who they are or who they're evolving into. Oh, the person you want them to be yeah. to benefit you. It Whoa, yes. Like, to like, benefit you. Like, you got to yeah. watch out for that, man. Yeah. people, you got to watch out for that, man, because people mm. will, will take you on mm. to benefit themselves. Yeah. And then when you no longer benefit in that point, to that end, mm. now it's a problem. Like uh, you gotta stop doing this because <laughs> yeah. you don't, yeah. you don't, you don't benefit me in exactly. this you don't in fit. this way. And it's never really something mm-hmm. that's supposed to be that is um, life threatening. Yeah, it's always something that's convenient. Yeah, for the other person, it's not. Yeah. It's not like their life's gonna end if you stop doing that. Yeah, it's oh. I I would have to change mm. to live with you now. Yeah. Wow. I would have to evolve just a little bit past mm. my petty wants and needs. Insecurities. And insecurities. Or just insecurities. Yeah. insecurities I'd have to too. get past my insecurities mm. to be around you, to be in your space. Yeah. That's because now hard. you've decided, look, mm. this is our this is the space. Mm. But the problem, the problem that I feel everyone is having mm. is that you don't have the communication. Mm. You don't have the communication skills mm. to tell that to a partner. Mm. Like, look, this is what mm. I want. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> if you don't want that, mm. and then sometimes you get people that are with you mm-hmm. and they don't want, they don't want the best for for you. Mm. Like, they don't want to go, mm-hmm. like, you be like, I want this. Yeah. Then they gotta know. Why you want it? Why you want it? So they can justify. Yeah. What they're gonna say to you next? Why should they allow you? Why, to have why it? should they allow you to have exactly. it? And there's another person. <laughs> exactly. I'm like, hold on. Exactly. The the only reason that yeah. really should matter is that I want to. Exactly. Now, if I if you really love, if you really say, you love, love me like you do, you do. Yeah. You don't understand that if I want this, mm. usually it's for the betterment of both of us. Yeah. Not just and for not myself. just for me. Me. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah, if you're that type of person, mm-hmm. yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, what other reason do you need? Like, like I'm not giving you mm-hmm. another reason. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. First is I want to. Exactly. Second, mm-hmm. if it's not nothing that's like, you know, mm-hmm. major purchase craziness, mm-hmm. it's going to affect mm-hmm. both of our lives all at one time. Yeah. Why do I have to wait for you to balance out the skills to say it's okay for me. To do exactly. That. That's the thing. Why I don't is, like that. Bro, I, my friend was dealing with the same situation, man, bro, where he's in a situation where 
this person, his spouse does not want to allow him to be happy in the space that he chooses hmm. or the things that he's choosing. I, why do you now, like are they detrimental to, the, to his health? Uh, I mean, it is. Are if, they if, good for? Are they good for him, or are they bad for him? They're bad for him because if you, <laughs> if, if, you if, if listen, you can't you can't make a choices and and be and, and make those choices and be free and be judged on every choice that you make. I mean, like the choices, not the person. The choices are the choices are good. he the choices wants are, to do. Are they? Are they like? They're good. They're they're not. They're they're actually empowering other people or or doing something for somebody. Or mm. something, or doing something for himself, where normally he does everything for the spouse, like everything, like literally breakfast, lunch, dinner, cooks, cleans the bathroom, does bro stuff that I do, bro. I'm like, I mean, nothing wrong with that. But I'm saying, literally mm-hmm. does everything for this person. First, all that person does is laundry. They literally being treated like a queen, right? right? And, and and financially stable, has all the things you need as far as accoutrements. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And won't let this person have this like one little thing, one one aspect and be like, oh, I don't like, I don't, I don't like the fact that you want that. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? Why do you even want that? You're not even good at what you're doing. Ooh. I don't, and then other people will tell this person, you're good at what you're doing. Don't let anybody else tell you. I, and then be afraid to tell other individuals, hey, I don't tell my spouse because even though you think I'm I'm good at it. She's not gonna feel that way and she's gonna reflect it back to me. Ooh. So that's touch. Ooh. You know what I'm saying? So those type of situations. No bueno. No bueno. You know what I'm saying? I mean in I'm, that situation, yeah. it's no bueno. That's what I'm saying. It's no now, bueno. There are those spouses that are out there looking. Yeah. Let's play devil's advocate. There are those spouses that are out there looking out for the best. True. For their partner. Yeah. But like I don't think you should take on um, being a stunt double. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. In, in Hollywood right now, yeah, or, yeah. Or, or, or I don't think you should be. You should go out and buy this new Yamaha or Ducati motorcycle yeah, and start this hobby right now, exactly, going exactly. two hundred and thirty miles per hour out exactly. here in the streets. Exactly. There are all those people that actually do care. Let's just flip yeah. it for a yeah. second. It's dangerous. There are those people that's going like, yo, this is dangerous. Shit. Exactly. Right, but. For those people mm-hmm. are, who are doing this mm-hmm. out of selfishness, mm-hmm. out of not wanting to share that mm-hmm. person with the rest of the world, yeah. because they they're not just they're not just here mm-hmm. just for you. Yeah, there, there's some people that got to come to that realization. That's true, bro. You're not just most of us mm-hmm. are not just here for our spouses. Yeah, God didn't just create you just for your to to. Just be everything be all, for your all, for yeah. your spouse. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. If it was that, he yeah. would put us down here two by two. Exactly. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> like you gonna be born next to your wife. You be born next to your wife. Exactly. You know what I'm saying. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. And, yeah. and businesses wouldn't be businesses because yeah. then you couldn't deal with outside of the exactly. outside of the circle of you and your exactly. wife. Because if your wife is like, I don't like it. We ain't doing we it. We ain't doing it. You know exactly. what I'm saying? Yeah. No, nah, that's why you, that's, you know you come together for a husband. You have you have yeah, you, you know mm-hmm. you come together and you have your talk. Yeah. And sometimes so let's let's take that up the other route is sometimes mm-hmm. you just don't see it mm-hmm. for your spouse. Mm-hmm. You just don't see it. It's yeah. just like oh you want to do this? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Because you don't you I know don't know you don't you know. <laughs> You know, I know you. Yeah, and you're not gonna you like it. You know, you're not gonna like it at first. And yeah, I, I I do that a lot. I'm like, hold on, hold on, hold on. Yeah, <laughs> you sure you want to do this? I know. I, I'm guilty of, of having done that. Really, but out of but out of benefit. No, but yeah. out of the benefit mm-hmm. for her because you know because what I'm the like, hold on, I, I know what your expectations are. Yeah. But I also know the people you're getting ready to deal with. <laughs> That's even worse. And unless you yeah. decide that you're going to finish but you start it, it. Yeah. you yeah. are going to finish it. Don't rely on them. Yeah. Because you do. Because if you do. Yeah. It's going to fall flat on your face. Maybe that just be all I'll be ready to say. <laughs> if you rely on them, uh-huh. it's not going to get done. It's not the result you're looking for. It's not for. the result you're going to be looking for. Yeah. Okay? Mm. You are going to have to be... Mm. Something else, yeah, to get this finished. Yeah, mm. are you ready to, to be, be that. that something else to finish this through? And I don't think you're there yet. Something, and I sometimes I'm just way too honest. Yeah, like I don't think you're there yet. Yeah, 
And I mean, it's good. Because and if you are, unless you just yeah. want to, unless you're going to do that, yeah. I, I, I'll just leave with that. Mm. Unless you're going to do this, mm. me personally, in my mm. head, my imagination, I don't see this working out. Wow. But it could. And sometimes, and it could. Yeah. I never said it couldn't. Yeah. But it could. But look at all, don't, don't have uninformed optimism. There we go. You know what I'm saying? There's, there's levels to this. There's levels to this. I mean, you have uninformed optimism, you're going to get in trouble. I'm like, I'm like, I'm like, you got you to gotta break the mold to make this work. <laughs> and I don't know if you can break the mold, because uh-huh. I don't know if you got a hammer strong enough for that mold. <laughs> I want you to know that you're going to have to break the mold to make this work. It's yeah. not going to be something you can just... Uh, just do. Fly, fly through. Yeah. You're going to have to bear mm-hmm. down, mm-hmm. grit, yeah. and make it happen. You yeah. have to manifest this. You yeah. gotta say it's gonna happen. Yeah. Everybody else quits on the project. Yeah. You're gonna be, you're gonna have to get up at night and say, yeah. I'm gonna do something with this. Exactly. Every day. Every day. I'm gonna do something with this. Yes. Yeah. It's and it's gonna work come mm. hell or high, high water. water. Yeah. Like like I like, like one of our guests said, mm. what's what's your, what's your guy? What's your guy? What's Daniel. Your guy? Daniel, like Daniel said, yeah. it costs what, what it, it costs. costs. Exactly. It costs what and it costs. It may cost you a yeah. couple minutes of your time. Yeah. It may cost you an hour a day. Mm-hmm. It may cost you getting over yourself, mm-hmm. but it costs mm-hmm. what it costs. Man, we need to make that a t-shirt, man. Put that on get there. And sell give da- Daniel a give little Daniel cut. his props. Exactly. Right? You know what I'm saying? It costs what it costs. It costs what it costs. You know, the thing is, you know, it's funny you should say that, because like right now I'm on the app and I have like an explainer video to do. Right. So, so I talked to the to the person who's creating the video, Byron, Indian lady. Shout out to Rafia. So what I have on the script does not line up with the video. So I have to go back into the script and tell her, listen, at this point, you need to put a graphic that explains this. Because when I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it as an investor. Mm-hmm. If what the words that are on the script that I we have spoken, we recorded. Don't line up with the with the actual video. It's gonna be it's gonna be a disaster. No one's gonna understand it. Right. It has to line up. So you're gonna to have to create something in this section that shows. So I have to go back in each scene, create, give her examples of what I'm looking for in there. And say, okay, in this you didn't. It doesn't give an explanation of what the app is in this section. This should show this. Okay. You know what I'm saying so. Because I do the editing for the for the pod, mm-hmm. like have the script. Mm-hmm. No, 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 no. Listen to what you did, mm-hmm. and then at a certain time, mm-hmm. or give her a like. Okay, at twenty one seconds, mm-hmm. I say chart. Yeah. Put a chart on the screen. Correct the Monday. And blase, blase. Okay, chart should only last mm-hmm. until you finish talking about the chart. Mm-hmm. Let's say it's like 10 seconds. Mm. Chart should only stay on the screen for 10 seconds. Mm. Switch to B-roll. Yeah. Next time you mention something that's big and important that needs like an actual illustration, mm-hmm. go to the second and what you recorded already mm-hmm. and tell her, this is when I want this to happen. Mm. Like at this second, or yeah. this one minute and 31 seconds mm. is, mm. Um, I want a B-roll of somebody walking up some stairs. Cause mm. I wanna, I wanna do it, you know, achievement. Yeah. achievement. I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, you know, show mm. rising. I wanna I show leveling up. Yeah. I wanna show this, that, and the other. But if you got something already recorded, it's mm. a lot easier. Yeah. Because then you can go this second. This need to go up. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Every everywhere else, you can be creative. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, exactly. But here, exactly, do this. Yeah. Here, do mm. this. Here, do that. Mm. And it doesn't have to be like a, you know, what I'm saying a whole. Mm-hmm. production mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. it speaks to us being um, intentional yeah like when I say this particular word mm-hmm. I need this going on exactly okay yeah <laughs> I want <laughs> yeah this needs to go up I want this b-roll here mm-hmm. that b-roll here. Mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying you have to kind of visualize it yourself visualize first. it myself and then write it out for this boy I tell you like I know mentally but I just don't want to do it it's a lot it's a lot bro like, but, when, you know, like I say sit yeah. down yeah it just do it tonight. Just, <laughs> just do just it. Do it. I'm just gonna do it, bro. But it's so irritating to me because, like, because I talk, I talk. You know, Patrick is is the is the CFO, right? Yeah. So he looked at, he's like, bro, this is not lining up at all. He's like, this isn't. And the she gave us an update. Was the update was like the first part of video, 
And then it was only like 34 seconds. He was like, this is only 34 seconds. Didn't we do a minute and 23 seconds? No, 34 seconds is a preview of what she what she put up. I don't like it. Exactly. <laughs> I don't like it at all. I don't like it. It doesn't line up with anything. Exactly. This this means that she doesn't have to do a, a whole minute of something of something you don't like at all already. <laughs> exactly. So she gave you like a little taste, a little taste, a little exactly. teaser. Gave you a little trio real quick. Trio. Like, yeah. Exactly. Yeah. See which one you like. Exactly. But you're crazy. See what you like out of it. Then there's, and the interesting part is the, the second half of the of the she actually does line up stuff in the second half. Okay. But the first half is like totally off script. I'm like, her like from here yeah, to here, yeah, seconds yeah. wise. Yeah. You gotta throw all that out. Exactly. Um now <laughs> you gotta get into your creative brain and be like, B roll, this type of B roll, chart. B roll, And then the rest of it, I guess you could you pass to her to get creative. Yeah. To get creative. Yeah. Like, keep all the rest of this. Pass yeah. this second. Mm-hmm. Keep this. Yeah. <laughs> you got a direct. Now you're a director. Exactly. This oh, entrepreneur oh. thing, man. It's, it's, bro, it, it's like, it's certain things like, you're like, okay, I got a hurdle here. Man, it, I already have hurdles. I already see that are far down the line. Oh, you're down the line. You know think about those. Think, think about, about those. today. Exactly. I don't Get think your about daily those bread things. and deal with today. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and the interesting thing is that, you know, the funny thing you should say that because like, Right now, it's like, okay, we got over certain hurdles, right? Yeah. And you know there's other hurdles. Like, we're dealing with one thing today, but you got to get up every morning and be like, I, I got to tackle this. That's like the guy said, like, you got to be crazy about what you're trying to do. You're trying to get that vision almost out. Almost a delusional. That's almost a delusional. You guys, to be honest with you, I just like, I mean, it's I'm going to do it. But, boy, it's like, gosh, damn it. Why can't I just, can't this be easy? You know what uh-uh. I'm saying? I'm like, even when I went down to Emerge, right, I was like, Okay, I'm gonna meet the million dollar yeah. dude. And you know what I'm saying? And I might have met that person. Mm-hmm. We're still reaching out to other people. Right. We don't know what they're gonna do. A lot of people are traveling out of town, they come back, and I gotta keep following up with them. Yeah. But you know, I don't know, one of them people might be decide, you know, I'm gonna put all the money to get you what you need. You know, and then there's some people who did tell me, listen, what you're asking for is nothing. I can I can get that easily. Oh. So I was like, cool, but then I gotta go follow up with these individuals, yeah. keep Staying on top of them, making sure, you know what I'm saying, we get, we got to go have some coffee, try to go back and renegotiate, tell them what we're going to do. Okay, can you get somebody to invest or pull me together with these individuals? So it's never going to be like, oh, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Like, you got you got a thousand, you got a million dollars. We're going to fund it for a million dollars. Oh, okay, because you don't want to get, but then, the, of course, even if that, even if you get to that point, somebody wants equity now. Now you got to figure out, oh, how much equity I want to give this person? Because now we're in the game. Now in the game, now you gotta continue doing the game. You gotta play the game so that you don't get you gotta you have get a strategy screwed. before exactly. you before you get in there. Exactly, because you don't want to go in there and get screwed either. You don't want, uh-uh, man, because people don't understand yeah. that. I, I feel like like in getting back to our last part, mm-hmm. we gotta get back to strategy. Yeah. Like when you go to when you go to these conventions, you gotta have strategy. Yeah. You can't just go and sit. You can't go and sit. You can't you play church something. at the convention. You can't, <laughs> you can't, play, you can't church. play church at the yeah, convention, man. Yeah, you true. clap. Yeah, you clap. You can't just clap and keep it moving like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But like I was saying before, mm-hmm. before we got cut off with all the things that are going on, man. Yeah. We got to get out here. You mm-hmm. got to check out the conventions. Yeah. You got to yeah. buy the big tickets. Stop playing it low. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Stop, stop, stop mm-hmm. staying. Sometimes you just stay too long and yeah. somewhere. Yeah. Like, oh, I want to sit in the back. Long. No, hey. don't stay too long in the back. Mm-hmm. Pay for, yeah. pay for the higher ticket joints mm-hmm. at the conventions. Mm-hmm. Talk to some people. Don't stay too long. Yeah. We can't stay too long. No, we can't. Right here on, on the D and D Leveling Up podcast. And if you don't know, now you know. That's Deuces. right, guys. Deuces. Deuces. Peace. Deuces.